Well, hey friends and welcome. Today, I want to bring you along as I pack for a week-long trip to Florida. And before getting anything out, the very first thing that I like to do is check the weather. Looks like it's going to be warm and sunny, perfect for Disney. And then keeping that in mind, I started laying out some neutral tops and bottoms that I can mix and match throughout the week. And I added a couple of warmer layers for the evenings. But then once I picked out all my clothes, I folded them up and put them all on the left side of my suitcase. I finished by placing my more bulky cardigan on top before zipping that up and turning to the other side of my suitcase. So next, I started laying out all of the undergarments that I would need throughout the trip. So this includes underwear, socks, bras, and I even included a bandana so I'd have an option for putting my hair up. I placed all of those items into this reusable cloth bag, and to that, I just added my bathing suit on top. Then I just zipped it up and was ready to go. With all my clothes packed, I moved on to toiletries. And since I tend to fly exclusively with carry-on luggage, I like to keep a small store of travel size containers that I can refill. So I just packed some shampoo, conditioner, hairspray, heat protectant, my portable razor, which I know isn't a liquid, but it just fits best here. My toothpaste, and of course, some sunscreen since we are going to Florida after all. Then again, I just zip that up and set it aside. Then for makeup, I keep my entire makeup collection in this small bag. For travel, it has plenty of room to spare though, so to it, I just added my deodorant, a small bag of jewelry, and a scrunchie. This is just an easy way to keep there from being loose items in my suitcase. Then for shoes, on top of the pair of sneakers that I was planning to wear on the plane, I also packed one pair of sandals, again putting them in a bag. Then I did the same thing for my face halos, the little cloths that I used to remove makeup and to wash my face. Then I started laying out everything that I'd prepared on the bed. So first I got out all of the little bags that I'd already assembled, and then to that I added my curling iron, a hat for all the hot and sunny days, and my toothbrush in a little travel container. Then I started arranging the puzzle pieces together in my suitcase, starting with the larger items and working my way to the smaller bits and pieces. And honestly, there was still plenty of room left in this thing, but that was everything that I wanted to put in my suitcase. So I just zipped it up and moved on to getting everything ready for my backpack. And again here, I just started by trying to group like items together into smaller containers. So in this protective case, I put my computer adapter and my external hard drive. That way I'd have somewhere to store all of the pictures that I planned on taking during our trip. Next, I packed my camera, and I just put it and the battery charger in another one of these reusable cloth bags. Normally, I just use these for grocery shopping at home, but they come in handy so much when traveling. And then in this cute little pineapple bag, I put all of my charging paraphernalia. So my phone cord, my laptop cord and charging block, and my AirPods all go inside here. And I love having all of these in one place because it makes for really easy access while I'm flying. Then I'll also be putting my purse in the backpack. And in here, I already have a lot of my daily essentials, like my wallet, a hand cream, and things like that. But then to that, I just added a couple of essentials, like my passport for getting on the plane, and a small container of medicine. Then just like with my suitcase, I started laying out everything that I'd need. This is just an easy way that I can get a visual overview of everything that I'm trying to bring, and it lets me double check that I'm not leaving anything behind. So to the little bags that I'd already packed, I added my laptop, a book, my water bottle, an eye mask, a face mask, some dairy pills, a reusable bag, and a hair clip. Then with everything laid out, I began loading up my backpack. Starting with my laptop, which I put in the dedicated laptop sleeve before moving on to the main compartment. And this black backpack is something that I've had for over four years now. And it's definitely one of my more well-used and loved items. It really is the perfect size to fit all of my essentials without any of the excess. And in the main compartment, I just put all of my larger items before zipping that up and opening up the front pocket where I put just a couple of things that I wanted to have easy access to. Then with one final zip, I closed that up and was finished packing. 
But that's it. That's everything that I'm taking on my trip to Florida. And I hope you enjoyed coming along for this little glimpse into my packing process. Now, I have a plane to catch. We're leaving for our flights in just under an hour. So make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are though, and I'll see you in the next one.